Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronix Fix. Today we're talking about PlayStation 4 disk drives and I'm gonna show you exactly how they work. So when you first look at a PS4 disk drive, it looks extremely complicated with all the little arms and gears and the laser and rollers in there. But I've got a ton of experience with these, so I'm gonna get you guys zoomed in so you can see how each piece works. So when you first put the disc in, you can see these black arms move apart. And as those black arms move apart, they trigger two little switches back here. You might not be able to see them the best right now, but I will show you them later. There's a little arm back here that will engage those switches as the disc is moved in. So I'm gonna continue putting this disc in and I'll explain some more as we go. So once these switches are engaged back here, then these rollers right here will turn on and pull the disc in. Now this disc drive is obviously out of the console, so I'm gonna use the manual eject screw and turn it the opposite way, which will engage the rollers and pull the disc in. So the disc will be pulled in and as it gets closer, you're gonna see this piece is gonna slide down and it's actually gonna secure the disc onto the spindle with a magnet. So we'll keep going here. And you can see these black arms are gonna move back in. That lets the console know that there's a disc in there. Here we go. And the disc is now moving down. It's being pushed down by the magnet right there. and now it is fully inserted into the disk drive and it is now free to spin. I can't really get in there very good to spin it, but I will show you that in the next part. What I'm gonna do now is remove this metal plate so you can see exactly how the disk is located inside the disk drive. So with that metal plate removed, you can see the, how the disk is right here and we can spin it just a little bit on the spindle with our hands. And you may be able to hear the disc rubbing, that's because there's a magnet that goes right over this piece that keeps it from moving back and forth like this. The magnet is located right here. This is the metal plate we took off. We can actually remove it from that metal plate. And then we can place it right on top here and you can tell it still does rub, but that's actually because I'm using a faulty disk drive for this video. But that's how it works. The magnet keeps the disk onto the spindle. Now, as that disk is spinning, this is the laser. The laser is what reads each of the little grooves on this disk. So this laser is gonna be moving back and forth. It's on a little spindle back there, a worm gear that can move back and forth. And then the laser itself can move up and down and that's how it focuses the laser onto the disc. So as you're playing your game or DVD, this can move back and forth as it reads, the laser can focus and that's how your disc is read. So with the PS4, any one of these things can cause a problem. Sometimes the rollers get really dirty and don't suck the disc in, or sometimes this white piece comes off and, don't, and it makes it so you can't even get the disc in. Sometimes these switches on the back right here go bad, and so the PS4 basically can't tell there's a disc in to pull it in. Sometimes the spindle motor goes bad, and so it can't actually spin the disc up and sometimes the laser go bad, goes bad, so it, even though it spins it up, it can't actually read the information on the disc because this laser is faulty, and every once in a while, even this motor goes bad right here, so it can't actually make the laser move back and forth. Now that you understand a little bit about the inside of a disk drive on a PS4, I'm gonna plug in a live PS4 and start this up so you can see exactly how it works when you put your disk in to your PS4. And here we have a PS4 that we plugged in. We're gonna turn it on. And then we're going to insert this disc in and you'll be able to see the disc drive working how I said. And there we go, you can see the disc spinning. So what you saw is as these arms moved out of the way, it contacted those switches which made the rollers turn to pull the disc in. Once the PS4 saw that there was a disc in there, it spun it up, and now the laser is reading the disc as it spins. So I'm gonna take this one step further. I'm going to turn the PS4 back off. I'm gonna remove this plate so you can actually see the disc spinning inside the drive while it's turned on. 
Now we have the PS4 started up with the disc in there with the plate removed. So this is the disc spinning and underneath the disc is the laser that's reading it. You can see the rollers have been pushed down as they should be. And right back here in the back, let me give you a better view. These are the two switches that those black arms move against to let the PS4 know that there's a disc in here and to turn the rollers on to, to pull it in. So now I'm gonna turn it back off. I'm gonna turn it on without the disc and show you guys the laser trying to read. Now watch the laser. You can see the laser is moving back and forth and up and down and it's trying to read and it thinks there's a disc inside the drive so it's trying to read the disc. And this is what the laser will do if, it, if you have uh, a dirty disc, or sometimes if the laser's bad, this is what it does, because it, it can't read the disc, it can't find the disc. So it's trying to figure out what's going on. Now, after it decides that there's no way it can read the disc, right now is when it just stops, and it would be, have an error up on the screen, and it would say the disc is dirty, or can't read the disc, or something like that. So that's the basics of how the inside of the disc drive works on the PS4. Thanks for watching my video about the PS4 disk drive. If you have any questions about how it works or didn't understand something, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know to keep making the same kind of content. And if you like this video on my channel, please subscribe as I have lots of content coming up and always leave a comment with video suggestions if there's a video that you want to see on my channel. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.